on YouTube, we out here. We're doing a test on the Schumacher battery charger. Just purchased it. We've got a car that's been sitting almost a year. Not been used. So battery has totally died. No charges in it at all. Um, it's a 2012 Hyundai Mantra. And uh, there's absolutely no reason so you can't start it. What this charger, Schumacher Schumacher battery charger, and it's a smart charger, which is pretty good. Let me show it to you. Here. So this is the charger here. It's electrical, it's not portable. You have to plug it in, which is fine. Got a pretty long cable, I didn't even have to unravel it. I kept it coiled. It's pretty loosely coiled, so that shouldn't be a current a problem with current flow. It has so many different settings on here. So right now it's actually charging this ink in action. So I'm gonna show you where the battery charges at now. In order to see the current battery level, you have to hit the rate selection with cycles between how fast you want the battery to charge or if you want to boost, if you want to jump your car. So now it's at the 100 amp boost engine start. Now it's at the triple charge setting. Less than six amps, more than two amps. That's how much power is going into the battery. And on this setting, you will be able to see what the current charge is. You see the zero is lit up in zero. So you're gonna keep it back at the 30 amp boost and just let it sit. You see it's charging. If the battery was bad, this would detect that it's a bad battery and it will cut itself off. I tested it by putting the positive on the positive side of the battery and putting the negative on the metal part of the vehicle, the ground, and it did not charge, it just cut itself off. And I connected it to the negative side of the battery. It's on, staying on, and it's on charge. You see, charging is lit up. It's on the standard battery, but it has different types. You can do standard, you can do AGM, you can do gel. And if it's a bad battery, this is where you'll see the indicator light light up over here for bad battery. hooked up over here. Positive to positive, negative to negative. I disconnected the terminal connectors, so the battery is totally disconnected. I did not take the battery out the car. It's unnecessary. The battery is not connected to anything, so it can charge uninterrupted. So we're just gonna let it sit here. We'll see how long it takes for the battery to come to a full charge. Right now, we back. It's been an hour since we put this charger on. Let's take a look and see how far we've come. Check in the book, see how much of a battery life we have here. It still says zero. It's still charging, so it's only been an hour. We'll leave it on here. We'll be back again to check it. All right, now we're back. It's been about three hours since we hooked up this charger. It's still going. Hooked up to the battery on the inside. So 
What's gonna happen is soon This light's gonna cut off This light is gonna cut off And this light, which says charged, maintaining, is gonna cut off So this is an automatic charger so Once it detects that the battery has got a full charge It's gonna cut itself off and from the charging mode And click on to maintaining Make sure that the battery maintains the charge. So you use this for vehicles that you don't use often. So like when you put your lawnmower away for the winter, for the winter, you put this charger on it, and it'll maintain the battery for the whole winter. Or if you got, you know, anything that you're not using regularly, like this car right here, I left it out for a year, and the battery died because I had this maintainer hooked up to it. Battery would have never lost its juice. It'll just be connected whenever the battery dips. It'll cut itself on and charge it up. It'll maintain a consistent level of life in the battery. So we'll wait for that to happen. We'll be back soon. Right, we're back. It's only about five minutes since the last update. And take a look. Charged and now it's maintaining. So the battery is finished charging. So now I'm gonna hook back up the terminals. I'm gonna disconnect this. I'm gonna unplug this first. So let's do that real quick. Safety first, make sure it's not plugged in. There's no power coming to this, so we can take it off however we want. You always do negative first, then positive. And now we're gonna hook these terminals back up. Be right back. All right, you hear that? There's power. Oh, starts right up. So that's Schumacher SC1281 charger, which has a trickle charge setting, a 30 amp boost setting for fast charging, and a 100 amp uh, setting for jump starting a vehicle. Definitely works because this battery was definitely dead. I even tried to jump start it myself with a 2000 amp starter and it would not catch. Now the car is running perfectly fine. All right, Schumacher makes a good product. The link to that product will be in the description. I do get a percentage of commission. Anytime you click the link and you purchase, that link is gonna take you to uh, Amazon and you'll see the product right there. As soon as you click the link, It'll pop up on your screen and you can purchase it. It's only about 80 bucks. Good purchase. And it'll last a lifetime. It'll service all your vehicles. Whether you got big batteries, small batteries, boat batteries, motorcycle batteries, lawnmower batteries. Doesn't matter. It's all good. All right, so I'm going to cut it off. And here we go. Another day's work done. Thanks to Schumacher. Take care.